because I thought we played well. It was a really good performance, and we just well, let our guard down in the 95th minute, uh, wherever they came from. you think their equaliser could have been prevented then? Of course it could. We might have won. We might have blocked the ball in the box. We might have won the first header. We might have followed him out instead of Bart following him. I think that was just a bit of confusion. Then once that happens, you know, that's how goals come about. I'm sure they'll look at theirs and think somebody should have been marking Chamber closer. So, no pun intended. The game pretty much gone to plan for you. Yeah, I thought it was a really good performance first half as an attacking threat. Uh, as an offensive threat, and I thought in the second half, when uh, when it got really tough, those players that did were blocking it and tackling and working hard and batting a couple of saves, and uh, I knew that would be the case. So I was delighted with that, my team's performance today. Yeah. With your reaction to Chambers' job towards the fans, as a clip of you come round up in the game on Sky today, it appears as though you sort of big gesture to fans. Oh, so you're putting words in my mouth, eh? Why does it look? Well, it was just a game, celebrating the game. Man. I wanted to win. Were you re reaction to the fans and what they were chanting about yourself? It's a reaction to the game. I want to win the game and we didn't. Were you frustrated with the fans' reaction when you brought on George Spence? Uh, well, John Spence came on because Dominic was cramping up. And... Uh, that's me, that's my tactical substitution and making the subs I have to make, so, you know, that's I, I do my job as I see fit. Do you think they appreciate the situation the team were in, needing a defensive replacement, they clearly wanted a more attacking substitution? Well, it's funny, isn't it? I'm answering questions to that. If we'd come off and we'd won instead of the equalising, it would have been, uh, it'd have been so different, wouldn't it? So, that's sad that you haven't asked me those questions. I'm not bothered. I do my job as I see fit, and I think I do it particularly well, actually. We've still a header from Origin the table. Yeah, we are. I think if I'd been given 100 million over the last three years, I could have been. Uh, I think I could have been languishing in 13th as well, to be quite honest. The huge fans have been large, but the point. But as has already been mentioned, your reaction to the goal is going to overshadow this game. Are you concerned that your relationship with the fans is fractured now and it's going to be difficult to come back? Uh, not really, no. No. Not at all. I keep doing my job and doing as best as I possibly can. And, and you've been around a long time. You know when things start spiralling with the fans and there is a gap, it's very difficult to overcome that. Winning games overcomes it. So we'll see what Wednesday brings, shall we? Can I just clarify on you, you didn't tell the fans what the emotions Just the emotions at the game, yeah. And that, that was what that goal meant to you at that moment. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting it from both sets of fans, by the way. So it's it's at the game. Well, it's fans are showing your name, Victor. Yeah. yeah, it's great, isn't it, when they wear fans cheer your name? Do you think that's that's in support of me, dear? No. Well, don't. Uh, thank you. Thanks, guys.